What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Brad? Ah, 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 ah. Get your ass up. Oh, man, they was clowning your ass at work today, man. Yeah? So what? I saw the tape. They kept rewinding it. It kind of looked like your head, but you came with yourself in the back. How's your eye? Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Damn! Put your glasses back on. <laughs> oh, hold up. I got to take care of this real quick. Here comes Debo. Who? Debo. Talk my name. What's up, y'all? What's up, Red? Thanks for the bike. What you got on my forty, homie? I thought you had two hundred dollars. I do, but I want to spend Red's money. I'm broke. Give it up, Red. Come on, Debo. Stall him out. I said, what you got on my 40, homie? I don't have nothing. Yeah, you got something. Why are you tripping, Debo? Shut up, punk, for I knock your ass out. Man, that's messed up. Why don't you give him back his chain? What chain? Yeah, what chain? Man, why y'all ain't help me? Man, I'm high. That's fucked up. I would've helped y'all. What about that time he tried to choke me in Smoke's backyard? Yeah. Oh, that was different. Man, let's jump him. Sit your ass down. Nah, man, I got my control over Debo. He'd be like, shut the fuck up. I'd be quiet. But when he leaves, I'd be talking again. Yo, my grandmama gave me that chain. Man, he tripping hard. Only on the full team, no. He don't be pulling that shit on the dudes around the corner. Man, fuck y'all. <laughs> he gonna cry in the car. All right, they got water, orange juice, and what looks like cider. Taste it. Yeah, that's fat. I just drank fat. Yeah, I know. I did that two minutes ago. <coughs> hey. Hey, Mr. Tux. Why aren't you guys dressed? We have half an hour. No, four minutes ago you had half an hour. We have to be at the door 20 to 8. Relax, Ross. It takes us two minutes to get dressed. Well, you know, I feel a whole lot better because I get dressed now. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, look at you all sexy. Really? Oh, wow. Well, hi. Hey. How come you didn't come over earlier? Because I'm a stupid, stupid man. Hey, Ross. Want some cider? No. So let's see, we're pretty close. Hair is done, makeup's done. Yeah, I just have to get dressed. Yeah, and that takes what, just like six or seven minutes? Yeah, once I figure out what I'm wearing. Glass of fat? Hey Ross, what are you nervous about your speech? No, do you want to hear it? Am I in it? Uh huh. Yeah, right after thank everyone for giving money to the museum, I sing a song of the one that is Joey. Hello. Hey. hey. Oh wow, you look great. Oh thank you. I know though. You see, this this is the person who's ready to go. Phoebe, oh you are my star. Oh well, you're my lucky penny. All right, I took the quiz. Turns out I do put a career before men. Get up. What? You're in my seat. How is this your seat? Because I was sitting there. But then you left. It's not like I went to Spain. I went to the bathroom. You knew I was coming back. What's the big deal? Sit somewhere else. The big deal is I was sitting there last. Actually, the last place you were sitting wasn't there, so... Okay, guys, look, it doesn't really matter because you both have to get dressed before the big vein in my head pops, so... All right, Ross, I just got one quick little thing. No big deal. Get up! Hi. Hey. hey. Oh, Phoebe, you look great. All right, all righty. Oh, are you going to do magic? That's... That's funny. Change. Hang on a second. I just got in. Look, I don't care. It starts at 8. We can't be late. We could not, would not want to wait. Look, our table's not on front. My boss is going to be there. Everyone's going to see. We arrive after it starts. Has somebody been drinking like that? Thieves, did you check the machine? All right, Joy. You know what? Fine. I wrote you a little song today. It's called uh, Get Up. All right, you can have the chair. Really? <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm on my way now. Hey, what if I'm already there when you're listening to this message? Is that too spooky? Monica, it's
it's Richard. Call me. Is 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 that message old or new? Old or new? Old it's or old. new? It's old. It's definitely old. Didn't you get a little beep? Well, what if it's new? If it is, what? If it is a new message, if it is new, shouldn't I call him back? Honey, you did call him back because it's it's really old. Yes, yeah, Iman. When Karen and I broke up, I went through the same thing. You know what I did? Huh. I got dressed. Read it really quickly, okay? All right, Joy. Fine. You know what? You can have the chair. I just hope you don't mind. You know my hand right here. Oh, not touching. Can't get mad. Not touching. Can't get mad. <gasps> oh my God, you rhyme, rhyme, boy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What am I gonna do? No, don't rub it. Don't rub it. What gets out hummus? What gets out hummus? Monica, Monica, you know what gets out hummus? If it is a new message, what is he calling to say? Okay, yeah, thanks. I'll try that. Maybe he's calling to say you're obsessive and crazy. So should I call him back? No! no. All right, you know what, fine. We can both sit in a chair. I'm so comfortable. Me too. In fact, I might be a little too comfortable. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, look, we have 19 minutes, guys. Chatter, I want you to go get change, and when you come back, Joey will go change, and we'll see what we vacated, okay? All right, fine, I'm going. But when I get back, it's chair sitting time, and I'm the guy who's sitting in the chair. Is this a little too... Thebes, what happened? Hummus. I got the hummus. Oh, honey, we'll find you something. Do you want to wear my black jacket? But that won't go with this dress, though. No, you're right. We'll, we'll find you something. Let's just get you out of that. Come on. Hey, Rose. <laughs> What's that? I called him. No! no! Yes, well, it's okay, because I got his machine and I left a message. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because, it, you know, it was like a casual, breezy message. It was breezy. Oh, God. What if it wasn't breezy? Well, how can it not be breezy? No, because you're, you're in such a breezy place. Here, I got it. I'll play my message for you guys, and you can tell me if it's breezy enough. How are you going to do that? I know the code to his answering machine. Mom, I really don't think that's a... You're dieting. You're dieting. job. Wow. You have two new messages. Please pass the pie. <laughs> Hi, it's Monica. I'm just checking in because I got this message from you and I didn't know if it was old or new or what. So I'm just checking. So let me know. Or don't. Whatever. I'm breezy. You can't say you're breezy. It totally negates the breezy. Now she was breezy. Alright. So it says here, you need to attach the brackety thing to the side things. Using a bunch of those little like wormy guys. And that all hooks up to an H. You know what? I see no brackety things. No warm guys. You know what we should do? We should just grab this and throw it out. And use this box instead. Swedish conspiracy. And yeah, we can put the cloth on it. And yes. Ta-da! Right, Looks right. beautiful. Relax. Just take this, right? Put it back over here. Let's grab the table. Put it over here. Okay. Let's just lay it down like that. Right? I think we got a table here. this thing. That? I think that's one of the brackety things that you were talking about. Where's it go? I don't know. Alright. We're done with the coffee table. Okay. Uh. You know what? I really miss her. If you're gonna start with this, then we're gonna leave. Okay, sorry. 
I was just cleaning the bathroom and I saw one of her maxi pads. I couldn't throw it out. Now I use it for art support. Oh, come on, man. I don't need to know that. Maybe there's only one woman. Maybe there was only one woman and I missed it. In this case, unfortunately, there is one woman for her. Oh my god, one woman? You're talking about one woman. That's like saying there's only one flavor of ice cream for you. You know how many flavors of ice cream there are in the world? There's Rocky Road, cookie dough, vanilla, chocolate. Welcome to the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even sure whether I'm horny or hungry. All right, well, stay out of my freezer. Oh, good, you're here. Did you copy the mainframe in the library? Uh, I got a little distracted. Again? What happened? Well, I was watching these girls play volleyball, and they were bouncing up and down and up and down. And some of them can't jump as high as the others, but it's okay. You know, it's more than okay. It's really, it's really okay, actually. What is wrong with you? I, I don't know. Well, we can't leave without that information. So I need you to go to the library, access the mainframe, enter the net, download, and head straight home as soon as you've finished. Why are you talking to me like I'm a child? You are a child. I'm older than you. Well, now I'm bigger, and on this planet, size matters. Good morning, Dr. Solomon. Hi, Gino. Here's your mail for you. Nothing. Nothing. This is something. Nothing you can do about it. Oh, and here's an invitation to a party at the Dean's house. Nothing. If you don't quit staring at whatever it is you're watching, you're going to lose something. Tommy's just on his way to the library, aren't you, Tommy? I am now. Go look up the word throb. He's older than he looks. Well, I have to file some papers for you. What is that? Mm, it's you. You smell so nice. Thanks. I try. It better be your nose. Is your wife out of town? Uh, Mrs. Solomon is no longer with us. She burned up on re-entry. Ah, I had a girlfriend that used to burn up on re-entry. She walks with a limp now. Is there a toast? What's up with you? Mom, this is very important. My school is having a food drive for poor people. Tell them to bring that truck over here. Mom. Take two, only. Don't touch that cream corn. I'll get it. Hello. Connie, don't tell them that. Get off the phone. Mom. Now. I have to go, bye. Can't stand it. People leave crumbs on the butter knife. What's the difference? You're just going to smear it on the toast anyway. You don't like it when people leave jelly in the peanut butter jar. Well, that's just sick. It's the same thing. Is not. Afraid so. Afraid so. Is not. Is not. Here. Knock yourself out. Nice, fresh butter. I love you, darling. I love you, too. Save me the detergent coupon. Becky! Dan? Yeah? The sink's all clogged up again. I'll plunge it right after breakfast. Well, I don't want you to plunge it. I want you to fix it. You got it, babe. This is the third time this week. I want you to fix it today. Absolutely. Mom, my book bag's broken. You gotta take it back. Okay, I bought it yesterday. You gotta take it back. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know, I'd like to be the type of guy who could really make use of a stationery store. You know, someone who's corresponding, keeping a journal, sending out invitations. You're not that guy. You're the guy that wears sneakers and watches TV. As it happens. <laughs> I don't see it. What about this one? No, no, that's a pen. 
Boy, this Mr. Pitt is particular. May I help you? Hi, um, I'm looking for the Rolamec 1000. It's a mechanical pencil. I know the Rolamec 1000. No, I'm <laughs> sure you do. They're pretty expensive. Well, it's for my boss. What do you do? Whatever. <laughs> well, we don't have any in stock right now, but I'd be happy to order one for you. If you give me your phone number and name, I'll place an order. Your name is? Elaine. Your last name? It's just Elaine, like Cher. Okay, uh, what about your number? Uh, KL54390. Well, I'll place the order and you'll be hearing from me soon. Okay, so long. What did you give him my number for? St. Charles Place with Hotel is $750. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about Gypsy? I loved it. Did you ever see the Bette Midler TV version? Man, she was great. By Stilla Bethel Berman. A chorus line? Kiss today, goodbye. The sweetness and the sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Hey, Tamara, would you like to go out with me sometime? Maybe catch a movie? The Rialto has this whole oldies classic thing going on on Wednesday nights. They show a lot of the old MGM musicals. It's great. Oh, I love it. Really? Good. We can make a whole night out of it. Nice romantic dinner around the baby sister wrecking the place. We could get to know each other a little bit more intimately. Make it a real date. Not exactly a date. Why not? Um, well, because... It's while you know I know. It's not because I'm too young, is it? Please don't pull the whole age thing on me. I'm 24, soon to be 25. That's not it at all, Doug. Um, well, it's just that I know that you're gay. What? Did you tell her I was gay? No, I guessed it. In New York, I lived on Christopher Street. I have a great gaydar. You told her, didn't you? She has gaydar. Tamara, please, I am not gay. It's okay to be gay, Doug. That's what I've been saying. Uh, you know what? You tell her I am not gay. Guys, guys, no. It's okay. He does this all the time. Tell her. Now. <gasps> He's not gay. Okay. So whose turn is it? Let me ask you a question. Mm hmm You're a hostage captured by terrorists. Who, me? You, anybody, whatever. You're in the little room, you're chained to the floor, you're there for a long time. Do you think they would ever consider doing the laundry? Well, they have to. It's in the Geneva Convention. You! Take off your socks, your underwear, your pants. We're doing the wash. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, George. Hi. Hey. What's the matter? My mother caught me. Caught you? Doing what? You know. I was alone. You mean... She... Uh -huh. She caught you? Where? I was taking the car back to the house and I went inside for a few minutes. Nobody was there. They were supposed to be at work. My mother had a glamour magazine. I started leafing through it. Glamour? One thing led to another and... She caught you. Yeah. What'd she do? Well, first she screamed, George, my God, what are you doing? She looked like she was going to faint. She started clutching at the wall, trying to hold on to it. Man. I didn't know whether to keep her from falling or to zip up. What'd you do? I zipped up. So she fell? Yeah. Oh. Well, I couldn't exactly run over there the way I was. No, I guess no, you I couldn't. I wouldn't think so. Not like that. So she falls, and then she's on the floor screaming, my back, my back. <laughs> so I pick her up, and I take her to the hospital. <laughs> How is she? She's in traction. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not funny, Elaine. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm serious. Anyways, her back went out. She's got to be there for a couple of days. 
the whole car ride over she was going, why, George, why? And I said, because it's there. Grammar? Well, I'll tell you what, I am never doing that again. Wait, at your mother's house or all together? All together. Oh, oh give me like a you could break. Stop. Come on. You don't think I could? No <laughs> chance. You think you can? Wow, I know I could hold out longer than you. Care to make this interesting? Sure, how much? A hundred dollars. You're on. Wait a second, wait a second. Count me in on this. You? Yeah, you'll be out before we get the check. Wait, I want in too. No, no, it's apples and oranges. It's a whole different thing. What? Why? Because you're a woman. It's easier for a woman not to do it than a man. We have to do it. It's part of our lifestyle. It's like a shaving. Oh, that is such baloney. I shave my legs. Not every day. All right, look, you want to be in? Yes. You gotta give us odds. At least two to one. You gotta put in two hundred dollars. No, a thousand. No, no, no. I'll put in one fifty. I'm in for one fifty. All right. Now okay. you're in for one fifty. Okay. All right. Now, how are we gonna monitor this thing? Well, obviously, we all know each other very well. I'm sure, we'll all feel comfortable within the confines of the honor system. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, come here. There's a naked woman across the street. Where? Second floor down. Second window from the left. Wow. Who walks around the house like that? Maybe she's a nudist. One of those nudist colony people? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Are these nudist colonies, do they naked at the dinner table? I would imagine it's all naked. What about the chambermaids? Are they naked too? They're naked. The gardener's naked. The bellhops. One big nudorama. Hey. 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 Well, who caved? Where's my money? Not me. Not me. Hmm. What are you guys looking at? There's a naked woman across the street. <laughs> well, this is going to be the easiest money I ever make. So, my friend Joyce is teaching an aerobics class, and I think I'm going to go. Yeah, the, the waitress should have taken it back. And uh, I got a call this morning. Turns out I've been chosen to go on the space shuttle. We're going to Mars. Uh huh. Have a good time. I'm out. What? Yeah, I'm out. I'm out of the contest. You're, You're out? out? What? Well, that was fast. It was a woman across the street. Be careful, buddy. She's going to get you next. And then there were three. <laughs>